All right, let's fucking do it. Go! America's most trusted news program. It's Dusty. How the fuck's everybody doing tonight? Thank you for joining me. I'm excited to get tonight, folks. Last show, we had a great episode. I had awesome content. And this week, I also have a great episode. So uh, thank you for joining me this Monday. Appreciate it. But uh, you're welcome in advance. Going to be a good one. I had a good weekend. Uh, not only did I get a lot of work done on the show, put together a fine, fine program for you guys, but I also got to play... Uh, Far Cry 6 in VR. I'm one of the few people on the goddamn planet who could do this. So first off, uh, you got to kind of go underground. You got to go to the Hacksaws websites and uh, find a mod. You have to pay this dude. You're like, I suck your dick for a mod to play Far, Far Cry 6 in VR. So I sucked his dick and he gave me this mod and they got like a high end PC. Had a good time. It's fucking amazing, folks. And, like, it's not supposed to be played in VR, so, like, uh, you're aiming the gun with your face. So, everywhere you look is a fucking weapon. Your face is a fucking weapon. So, I'm like, AK-47, blah, blah, you're dead, motherfucker. I killed you in my face. Sniper rifle. Snipe, snipe. Killed you in my face. Hell, yeah, grenades. Boom, motherfucker, with my face. Feel like a god. Hell, yeah, had a great time. And uh, going to go play some more of that later. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get the fucking show started, folks, because we got a... Solid two hours. Not promising anymore, but gonna be a good two hours. Uh, but gonna start out with some depressing shit. <laughs> Imagine that on this show. Time for some Chud Watch. Chud Watch. Talking about Chud Watch. We talk about Chud. Do we kill him with our face? Pew, pew, pew. Red blood. First off on the chat watch. Oh my god. So I'm just gonna uh try to cover this without being too depressed. Joe Biden gets bad news from a poll, folks. So this is the Washington Post. This is not a right wing rag. If anything, the Washington Post leans left a little bit, like American left, right? And according to the Washington Post, Donald Trump is ahead of Joe Biden by 10 fucking points. It almost doesn't seem like this can be real life right now, but this is where we're at as a people. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. Donald Trump is the odds-on favorite to be the next president of the United States. And uh, yes, a lot could happen between now and then. Yes, it's a year or more out. A whole bunch of shit could happen. Who knows if Biden's going to be the nominee? Might get uh, Michelle Obama in there. I have no idea. I'm just saying right now, we are fucked. What is wrong with this country? And like, I've been thinking about it. Like, it seems impossible, but I really think people are dumber than I wanted to give them credit for. Even me, who covers stupid shit for a fucking living. I want to believe humanity is better than they are, but they're actually not. The average human being is so dim that basically I think how Trump is winning is just that his name is out there more. And that's all it takes. Good or bad, regardless. Oh, I'm hearing Trump's name more. I'm going to vote for Trump. Literally all it fucking takes. Doesn't matter that we have uh, record low unemployment under Biden, Infrastructure Act, uh, nipped insulin prices to $35, negotiating with drug companies, doing a pretty good job. None of that shit matters. He is not getting the attention of the American people enough. So he is fucking losing because that's all it takes. So uh, whatever happens, happens. Like, shitty part is like... If Trump wins, it's actually technically better for me personally as a comic. He is uh, far more entertaining to cover. And uh, as an old white guy, I'm going to be fine. It's uh, all you motherfuckers I feel sorry for. Not uh, the goddamn best, but what you going to do? Got to laugh to keep from crying in this trash world. Once again, I'm hoping the country is going to wake up from its mass hysteria and things will change. But as of now, not looking the best. Uh, meanwhile, 
here's what they said they're worried about. So Biden was ahead a couple weeks ago, a month ago. But for the last month, the news media has been hammering. Is Biden too old? Is Biden too old? Is his age and fitness a question? Everywhere. Not do the same with Trump, even though they're only three years apart. Even though by every like objective metric, Trump's actually worse. His health is worse. He just rambles incoherently. It seems like he has dementia too, but none of that gets caught in the media. It's 100% focused now on Joe Biden. And so that's what people are saying they're really worried about because that's what they're being told to worry about the media. Biden's age and fitness, 74% of major and moderate concerns. Trump's criminal civil trial, less than Biden's age for people that they're worried about. Biden's awareness are involved in Hunter Biden's deal. They're almost as concerned with this Hunter Biden bullshit as Trump being arraigned on 91 fucking charges and trump's age of fitness not even a, a question who gives a shit about him so just this is where we're at the average citizen of this country is just pretty much struggling to survive i think living paycheck to paycheck just going to work every day working their ass off uh, then spending time with their kids trying to raise their little slow-headed fucking internet kids and um don't have time to really educate themselves about what's going on or uh deeply contemplate the current state of our society, so they just kind of uh, lean towards whatever they're hearing the most about, and that's Trump for sure. And so it looks like, to me, very good possibility Trump is going to be our next president. And I've actually been thinking about, like, what is that going to look like to have Trump as president again? I'm going to be covering this subject a a lot in the coming year, uh, first off, obviously, I think he's going to pardon all the January 6th defendants. He's going to send a very clear message that if you break the law for me, even if you try to overthrow the government, you will face no consequences. And so uh, he's just going to basically have carte blanche. And America's already telling him by electing him, that's just going to be uh, the, the shove he needs, the, the acknowledgement that nothing you do is going to be held against you. You can literally stay president forever. You already tried to do it, and we re-elected you. So we're basically giving you a mandate to just uh, overturn democracy. And he's going to receive that message loud and clear. No doubt he's going to do that. Um, We can expect to see Department of Education gutted. Lots of Christian schools get tons of uh, government funding. Uh, Biggest transfer of government wealth to Christianity in our nation's history, perhaps. that's just a few things. We'll go over more later. But had another cult meeting. The giant rally with the idiots. And uh, as usual, they have no fucking clue what's going on. Um, here's what this lady supports him for. What is it about him that brings you out here? Because when he was in there before, everything was wonderful. It wasn't wonderful. Millions of extra people died from COVID. He is the uh, only president since George Bush who left office with uh, less jobs than he entered office in. He spent $8 trillion, way more than any president in the history of mankind. We are the laughing stock to every other country. Trust in America was at an all-time low. But who gives a shit? Reality has no bearing on fucking anything anymore. And when he left, everything went to hell. Literally, everything has gotten better since he left. Uh, COVID has dropped it's going back up now because of the conservatives but we have a record record low unemployment now economy is turned around so just no truth in any of this literally what is it about literally yeah but this is what a lot of americans think folks this is where it seems like the majority of people think they have no fucking clue what's going on in our society we are doomed as doomed could be i must say and uh, when it comes to those indictments 91 of them Four indictments that he has against him. Okay. What do you think? The, the indictments, I think, is a lot of, oops, sorry, is a lot of propaganda. I think once it all. Zero percent chance she's read any of these indictments, knows nothing about it. Uh, comes into court that he's going to, he's got a good uh, legal team. He doesn't. And they're going to debunk all that. They aren't well, going well, to debunk the- it. He is going to be convicted, but it's not going to matter. Even the Georgia conviction. He's not supposed to be able to power himself uh, from state convictions, but I don't think they're going to put him in jail as president. I think he's going to go scot-free in this garbage country. Hopefully I'm wrong. We'll see. 
Try not to get too depressed, folks. Uh, none of this should be taken seriously. This world is a dark comedy, and you can't take it too seriously because it's not meant to be taken that seriously. Uh, and here's a, a, a good <sighs> clue. This world is a fucking joke. Another guy from the Trump rally who goes by the stage name uh, Dingaling. And yes, as you might imagine, super cool. I'm with the Bell Brothers out of South Carolina Musical Group. There's three of us, Ding Dong, and I'm Ding a Ling. How cool is that? So cool! How could you be any cooler? These people are the epitome of coolness. Oh my God, rock and roll, so cool. I love it. So, and you're very it. popular. Yeah, I'm very popular. very popular. People all over South Carolina know me too because I've won the Ugly Man Contest in 2021, 2022. I don't, I don't believe that. Uh, fuck Joe Biden on his neck. Adult males here, folks. I need that. I need your vote for 2023. Okay, we'll have to look that up online. So uh, you've changed some lyrics to a song, and oh, uh, you're gonna just tell us the first part of it. So Yay. let's hear. It. Okay, I wasn't prepared to do this, but anyway, okay. this is how it goes. All right. Goodbye, Joe. You gotta go down to get mo. You gotta go pull the pyro down the bayou. Okay. Wait a minute. What, what, what was that second line? Let me replay that. That second line, I'm not understanding what he's saying here. Go, you gotta go down to get mo. You gotta go pull the pyro down the bayou. You gotta go pull the pyro down the bayou? The fuck does that mean? Is he just fucking up his lines or is this like some obvious thing I'm not getting? What does pulling the pyro down the bayou mean? I ain't never heard of that shit before, but whatever. It's cool. I know that because the lady told me it was. Meanwhile, this is why Trump is leading folks. Fucking CNN, which now is being run by a Trump supporter, is just outright saying, hey, a Trump is a pro-worker candidate. Never mind Trump doesn't give a fuck about the worker, has stiffed every worker he's ever come in contact with, is 100% about making sure the rich suck every penny they can out of the economy while the poor get fucking poor. And never mind that. CNN has a different view on it. To these workers. Now, Donald Trump himself has clashed with unions in the past, but their argument now is that he is pro worker. So expect to hear this pivot in his messaging towards that general election, talking about those, as MJ mentioned, the electric vehicle uh, policies, the green policies of the Biden administration. Trump likely to be slamming those policies and saying uh, that he is more pro worker, that that's going to kill jobs, in fact, in Michigan. But again, it is going to be interesting to uh -huh. see here. So this interesting. Is huge political ramifications. Uh -huh. And again, Again, as MJ said, the UAE, the UAW has not yet endorsed a candidate. Trump himself already posting on True Social that uh -huh. they should be endorsing him. That would be obviously a huge win if that were to happen, Manu. Yeah, union should definitely uh, uh, endorse a guy who's for union busting, who's anti-union in every possible way. And hey, I guess the CNN just going to piss in our face and tell us it's raining as usual. Why not? So this is why he's leading, folks. We have CNN run by a Trump supporter, Fox News, the largest uh, cable news network on the, on the world, going to back him to Joe Rogan, number one podcaster on the world by far, um, and all the big uh, Elon Musk, owner of X slash Twitter, going to throw his full uh, platform behind him. And, of course, all the big social media influencers, uh, 8 out of 10 of them these days, are conservatives. So this is what we're up against. We're outnumbered like a motherfucker. I, I, like, honestly, I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to do my part. But I feel like I feel like a fucking loser, to be honest with you. I feel like I'm having no success in helping anything. And it just uh, feels uh, hopeless a little bit. But <laughs> just... Uh, Pretend, pretend, pretend life is not as it is. Meanwhile, he's basically um, threatening. Well, I'll share this one over here. He's threatening um, MSNBC and NBC because I guess they are the only channels who have actually criticized him. CNN's not really doing more. Fox News not really doing it. Uh, you know, everybody's for him now. So, uh... MSNBC and NBC, the only network who dares to call out Trump anymore. So he's uh, sending a shot over their bow. He's letting them know, hey, uh, when I'm president again, I'm going to come after you guys. I don't care about your free speech. I'm going to throw the weight of the government against you. Uh, maybe get rid of your uh, FCC license, whatever it takes. So, hey, you might not want to talk shit about me. And uh, believe me, that message will be heard loud and clear. Since he's up in the polls now. He can threaten people with his fascism uh, and, to, and bully them. Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the uh, 
Oh, the situation we're in where Donald Trump, the most feckless, fat, orange goof on the goddamn planet, is somehow terrifying to every fucking body. And, we, and, and they're afraid of him. And then we just had to make him president, I guess. Just fuck this world. Here he is. Um, oh, this is just, it's just crazy nonsense rambling at this, at this point. As Republicans against Trump said, Trump's only defense is in his criminal trials is to claim insanity. Look how meandering, how out of it this is. Senate Democrats should all resign based on Senator Bob Menendez. They all knew what was going on and, and the way he lived. Why doesn't the FBI raid Senate Democrats' home like they illegally raided Mar-a-Lago, where nothing was done wrong based on the President's Record Act? Menendez is a piker compared to some of those election-stealing thugs. Can you imagine how much crooked Joe Biden has stolen? And what's in some of his many homes? The FBI and Justice notified him that they would be going in to look in a few weeks. In other words, get rid of the cash, gold, and documents ASAP. Before we get there, they didn't give me a warning. They just showed up. Hunter lived with Crooked Joe in Delaware. It would be a treasure hunt. Crooked's coffers must be loaded up with cash. I wonder how much they got paid for rigging the election. Menendez is one of many, a small timer at that. Every Democrat should resign from the Senate. Our borders are broken. Our elections are rigged. MAGA just broke brain. It's the ramblings of an insane person, folks. But it, none of this fucking matters. It doesn't matter what he says because none of this is going to be called by, by the media. All these people talking about Joe Biden's dementia aren't going to fuck with Trump over his stream of consciousness bullshit because it's not an even playing field. It's almost like all these motherfuckers want Trump elected again. I guess maybe the ratings are better when Trump's in office, like I was saying. I hate to be conspiratorial about it. Meanwhile, I would say it's hard to believe, but it's not. The Family Values Party, the Christian Party, it doesn't give a shit about Trump's past. No, no matter how creepy he is, he's been literally found liable for rape by a jury of his peers. Here he is on uh, Howard Stern admitting outright he's a sexual predator. You you know about sexual predators and things like that. Right. I mean, uh, you sure. are one. <laughs> All right, that, I was going to say that, but uh, it's true. <laughs> you, hey, it's true. I am a sexual predator. <laughs> our president, ladies and gentlemen, and our future president, probably here he is. This is what we are as a country. The buffoonerization of America is what this is. I would say the bimbo bimbofication, but he's not a bimbo. He's a fucking buffoon. But this is what it's out about in this country. We're more, more like a, uh, a reality show now. So Donald Trump is the perfect president for this reality show country we live in. It's all about bottom of the barrel and just getting attention while acting like the most giant piece of trash you possibly can. And uh, then, folks, apparently uh, Trump today bought a gun. I don't know if this is true or not. This is what he said he was going to do. And then it was backed up by people that said he was there uh, before, the, said they were there and saw him do it before they uh, flipped and said he had nothing to do with it. Anyway, uh, let's watch. Yeah, it's a gun with his picture on it. They like you. Yes, you're very popular, Trump. You're definitely popular in America. This is who we are. So he said three times, I'm going to buy one. I want to buy one. Going to buy this gun. One more picture with the president. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right here. Let's take a picture. You have this gun, Trump. Hell yeah. And so then the next thing, you know, they was uh, all over it. Oh, uh, just This was uh, a Trump supporter right here. The, the Trump train. Wow, President Donald Trump just purchased a Glock 19 handgun. The Second Amendment is important for the safety and freedom of all Americans, including President Trump. Do you support Americans purchasing firearms to protect themselves and their family? They're like, yay, Trump. Trump did it. Trump bought a gun. He loves the first and the second, the third. He loves all the amendments. Every one of them. Fucking Trump. Hell yeah. And meanwhile... Here he is uh, with his finger over the trigger. No gun safety whatsoever, of course, for this fucking goof. 
This is not how you operate a gun. Don't put your thumb anywhere fucking near any of your fingers, anywhere near the trigger. I don't care if there's a thing in the in the uh, barrel, either from firing. I don't care if there's a magazine. I don't care if it's not loaded. Don't care if the safety zone. None of that fucking shit matters. It's always loaded. It's always ready to fire. Don't ever fucking put your finger anywhere near the trigger. But of course, Trump, yeah, there he is. Don't give a fuck about any of that. No gun safety. Gun, I, Trump is scared of guns. Probably never fired a gun in his life, but it doesn't stop him from this ridiculous photo op because this is how you get Goose to fucking vote for you. And uh, then, in case you were wondering, did he really buy this gun? Marjorie Trader Queen and her boyfriend were standing right there when it happened. Then they immediately went on television and said, we saw it. Trump bought this gun, folks. He did it. He said he was going to do it, and he did it. Tell you something. Go ahead. President Trump is having a great time. So he went shopping. I don't know if you saw. Were you in there? I was there with him in the, in the, uh, in the armory, okay. and he made a couple comments about wanting a gun. Yeah. And so... So President Trump is a great defender of the Second Amendment. Thank goodness, because Joe Biden and his administration are coming after our Second Amendment. But President Trump found a gun he liked. It was a Glock, and it had it had a beautiful uh, uh, picture of him on the side of the Glock. And he said, "I'd like to buy this gun." I heard him say that, <laughs> and I was behind him when he said it. And I said, "Well, I think he said he wants to buy that gun." So we can confirm that President yeah, Trump. Yeah, uh, I got a picture got the, for you. You got that gun today. Look, let me show you. Yeah, there he is. There's a Martin Trader Queen's boyfriend. I was standing right there. I can't confirm. He bought that gun today. Here's a picture of him with Wait. it. Hang on one second. Right here. Let's see if we can. President uh, Trump. Might be really <laughs> difficult to hide. Let's hold it steady. Let's see if James can get a, t a tight shot of that. You see that, James? You got it? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I, he seemed to enjoy himself in there. I seem to show all kinds of things. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, but he, en he enjoyed that. You oh, can he tell he got a kick out of that. Well. Yeah, I was right there. He enjoyed it. As a member of the news media, I can tell you from first-hand eyewitness account, he bought that gun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, only, um, yeah, it's a felony for Trump to buy a gun. Yeah, if you have been um, indicted for any felony, you are not allowed to buy a weapon, not allowed to buy a gun. So seems bad. Uh, yeah, here's a several. Uh, makes it a crime for anyone to sell a firearm to a person under a felony indictment. Makes it unlawful to sell otherwise disposed of a firearm to a person who is under indictment for or has been convicted of any court of crime punishable by imprisonment for a term exceeding one year. Uh, all kinds, all kinds of crimes that, that he committed by buying this gun. So immediately uh, they were like, Trump didn't buy that gun? Who? Who? In this fucking crooked ass news media is lying about Trump buying a gun. It's beyond parody, folks. Literally. So here is Marjorie Trader Queen's boyfriend admitting that he saw firsthand with his own eyes Trump buy this gun. He is the one that reported it. And then immediately shits on the news media for lying about Trump buying a gun. This is where we're at. So here President he is. Trump found a gun he liked. It was a Glock on the side of the Glock and he said I'd like to buy this gun. I heard him say that <laughs> and I was behind him when he said it and I said well I think he said he wants to buy that gun so we can confirm that President yeah, Trump uh, I got a picture got the, for you. He got that gun today. Yeah we can confirm President Trump got the gun today a few moments later Brian Glenn for the record President Trump did not buy a firearm. I was there. Move along, fake press. Yeah, who in the press could possibly be reporting that? It was you. You reported it. You said you were there, and you could confirm he fucking bought the goddamn gun. So you were lying. Obviously, you were fucking lying to try to make Trump look like some kind of Second Amendment hero. And now you're fucking backtracking because it's illegal. But yeah, they're going to win, folks, I guess. They're going to fucking win. Good luck, America. Meanwhile, let's take a look back at some of the uh, people who Trump is going to pardon. These are the people that he's going to send a direct message to. If you break the law for me, no matter how crazy frothing at the mouth you are, you're going to get away with it. I'm a fucking animal! I am a fucking animal! I am a fucking animal! Do you hear me? 
I hear you. Just the craziest fucking Among Us, folks. And they're all going to feel vindicated. The first thing that's going to happen, and this is going to piss me off, but all the televangelists, all the prophets who said Trump was going to win again, he's going to beat Joe Biden again, they're going to be like, see, we told you, we told you, we were right the whole time. Even though that's not what they said, they said he was going to win in the last election. They're going to declare victory. Declare all of us who made fun of them, naysayers who are wrong. That's another bullshit thing's going to fucking happen. Meanwhile, here's the people winning, folks. They're the most evil human beings among us. So we're talking about migrants. We're talking about uh, people who are just uh, trying to make a better life for themselves and their families. Fleeing their countries. And they're here legally because until they have their cases heard, it's completely legal for me to be, be in the country. But here are the Christians. Here's how they're treating them. Stag- uh, Staten Island, MAGA, being deranged as they flash lights in the windows of a facility housing migrants. Showing the love of Christ, these people. Yeah, super cool. Somebody said, I'm putting like not one poll. I'm not. There was another poll recently. There's multiple polls. Regardless, it shouldn't be anywhere close. It should be 99 to 1%. The fact that we even have polls that are anywhere near fucking close is a problem. You guys are not taking it seriously enough is the fucking problem. Right. It's the left. This fucking apathy. You're too worried. But yeah, I'm fucking worried. You should be worried too. Wake the fuck up. It's time to ring the fucking alarm. It's time to be frightened. It's time to get off your goddamn ass and do whatever the fuck it takes. It's time to get serious. I'm not taking it too seriously. You motherfuckers aren't taking it seriously enough. We're getting dominated every goddamn where across all social media. They're fucking winning. Wake up. These assholes, they're winning. Anger is the correct fucking response, not apathy. No, who knows what's going to fucking happen? Fuck you. Get off your ass. Meanwhile, GLP representative who pushes the traditional values is accused of affair with lobbyists. Dude, literally having an affair with lobbyists, y'all. This lady runs her own lobbying firm, gets paid money, I guess just to have sex uh, with these senators in order to push her agenda. Legalize prostitution directly in the highest bodies of government. They are not winning. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Sit on your hands, everybody. Just, they're not winning. Hey, we're totally winning, y'all. We're doing great. We're doing amazing. Let's all just uh, 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 pretend that's true and sit on our hands and not worry about it while they get the fuck out there and they dominate social media. They're dominating the news. They're dominating the polls right now. Let's just fucking pretend like this is not a fucking problem. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Don't listen to me. See, this is like literally the problem, though. The left is way more apathetic than the right is. They're right when they talk about how Trump has all these people that come out to their rallies, that people are excited about him, but I don't have fucking nobody. They're right when they say that 8 out of 10 of the big social media influencers are right-wing, and they get supported through hell and high water in ways very few on the left get supported. So sit on your hands, motherfucker. Keep it up. You guys are about to fucking piss me off. Meanwhile, free speech absolutist Russell Brand is copyright striking Ethan Klein because uh, Ethan Klein dared use his videos and then comment, you know, fair use, exactly what you would expect uh, a journalist or a blogger to do. Uh, But nope, 
As Ethan says, alleged rapist Russell Brand doesn't like free speech when it's about him. He used his new video addressing rape allegations to claim our podcast about him. What a hypocritical loser. And by loser, I mean rapist. Uh, yep, he is, but that's the way they all are. They don't actually give a shit about anything they fucking say. It's the fucking party of nothing. And last but not least on uh, Chud Watch. Once again, the party of fucking nothing. Here's uh, Representative Ralph Norman talking about the government shutdown and how, hey, he knows, he knows that people in the military are not going to get their paycheck. But it's no big deal because look at back pay. And then he mentions that people are living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, the exact military members you just fucking mentioned. But he don't give a shit about that, folks. They don't actually care about the military in any fucking way. This country is, we're we're at a tipping point. And we either handle it or we don't. And the, but government the, employees won't like be getting paychecks. Down, uh, members of the military won't be getting paychecks. Uh, members of the border patrol down on the border won't be getting paychecks. You're comfortable with that? That's not right. They're going to get paid back pay whenever we open back up, and we will open back up. Look, Jim, the sun's going to still shine. Uh, yeah, basically, fuck them. They'll get back pay. Eventually, they'll get paid. So who really gives a shit about the military? Uh, the the oceans. That's real pain uh, that they're going to be going through. I mean, in, you, in and out. Are, are you going to get paid? Yes, Congress gets paid. I don't make the. I didn't make. I didn't write the Constitution. That's the big cake. Yeah, I'm gonna get paid. Hey, don't blame me. I didn't write the Constitution. Yeah, I'm fucking the military out personally and making sure they don't get paid this week. But uh, pff, don't blame me. I'm not that old. But what yeah. I'll tell you this is. Uh, there's a lot of our- Americans living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, the fucking military you just got to mention. Living paycheck to paycheck. So he knows. You're, that's a bad point to bring up, dude. He's literally going to use your point against you right now, you fucking moron. And I, you know, simply, uh, you can agree or disagree with it, but. Uh, a lot of members of the military you know, are living paycheck to paycheck. Well, to- if, if you don't, if they're not getting paid, uh-huh. you say they're going to get back pay. If they're, right. If they're living- and he go change the fucking subject immediately because he don't give a shit. Being paycheck to paycheck, that doesn't sound too good for members of the military, members of the border patrol. No, it's not. No, well, the border, no, it's not. But ask any, you mentioned border patrol. Yeah, no, it's not, but don't change the subject. Dodge, dip, dodge, dive. Yep. Don't give a fuck, but hey, who cares? Nobody that votes for this guy actually gives a fuck about the military either. They're all just virtue signalers pretending they care in order to seem like they're patriotic good Americans when they're fucking not scum of the goddamn planet. And that is my spirited chud watch. That you guys got me all fucking fired up. We need more outrage. Like, even so let's say I'm fucking wrong. Let's say Biden is actually ahead by 100 points. 100% he's ahead. What? There is no downside to entertaining the possibility that he's not up and that Trump is actually winning and then use that as fire to get out there and do whatever the goddamn hell we have to do to make sure this shit don't fucking happen. The end of our democracy. The end of America as we fucking know it. It's like uh, global warming. Oh, what if global warming isn't real? And we accidentally got off fossil fuels and on renewable energy and uh, cleaned up the planet. The horror. Either way, it's win fucking win. I hate Chuds as well. You fired me up. Get fired up. Whatever you got to do to spread the message. You don't have to be me. Just whoever. Whoever you like. Like, a lot of people won't share my message because they're like, I cuss too much or whatever. You can't share me. You can share some fucking everybody else. But every like you make on social media, everything you share is a vote. You guys have power. You need to fucking start using your power like it's serious because it's fucking serious. Dusty, that poll is meant to rile people up like this. Good. It worked. It should. It should rile you up. Thank you, then. If that's the fucking point of that poll, then uh, kudos to you. More of this, good sirs. Get these apathetic motherfuckers off their goddamn couches. You don't have to get off your fucking couch. Just get on your social media and use your voice. Be fucking heard. It makes me want to vote more, even being in Louisiana. Hell yeah, it should. And, uh, all right, we're along.
I forgot to mention the super chats. Uh, you guys know how super chats work. Life of the show, super chats. Uh, I read everything that you say on the super chat. So if you like my show and want to support it, uh, please super chat me. There's a dollar sign. You'll figure it out. Super chats. And all right, let's move along. Time for some trash world. Like that wasn't already it. Trash world. The trash world is a dumpster fire. It's so hell is trash world. The trash world. Everything sucks. All the goddamn time. Trash world. Da. And first off on the trash world, apparently they are passing these out in Metro Vancouver recently. Join us for whites only mom and tots. Are you looking for somewhere your children can play with others that look like them? Are they tired of being a minority in their schools or daycares? Escape forced diversity and join other proud parents of European children as we create an atmosphere in which our kids can feel like they belong. Invest in your child's sense of well-being and racial identity by giving them the gift of time spent amongst their own people because they deserve it. Uh, and with the uh, code you can scan with your phone. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just a troll. This is the society we live in now where bottom of the barrel scumbags like oh my god look at all the people i'm gonna upset i'm gonna fuck up on some racist shit oh my god i'm gonna own the lives i know that's probably all this is probably some 15 year old kids trying to be edgy as fuck uh but yeah it's trash behavior it's pathetic is what it is when you feel like oh my god i'm gonna be so edgy it's just cringe and then this was left on cars in allen texas jews want your guns Jews want your dead. And also, these flyers were distributed randomly without malicious intent. Yeah, sure they were. But once again, probably just fucking trolls. Just, uh, there's probably adults doing this. A lot of Trump supporters have the mentality of, like, stupid young children. So they're just trying to outrage people. Pretty obvious, but it's still trash behavior. And uh, meanwhile, speaking of trash behavior, last show I showed you where they faked the uh, glory to urine to make fun of Vladimir Zelensky. Because the fuck you, Vladimir Zelensky, for getting invaded and having your people killed and trying to fight for your freedom. So they released uh, this video of Vladimir Zelensky. This is how unserious he is as a leader, folks. This is what he's doing over there in the Ukraine right now. Just shaking his little dick. Yeah! He don't give a fuck. He's just a fucking moron. He's a clown. Uh, but obviously this is fake. Here's the original one. They made him fatter and put uh, his face in somebody else's body. Because, yep, yeah, this is what they do. Don't have anything real to outrage people by, so they got to make fucking shit up continuously. Because why not? Meanwhile, uh, over in Oklahoma City... The superintendent of schools, Ryan Walters, is demanding that a principal be fired simply because occasionally they do drag. Like the new McCarthyism. Who gives a fuck? But yeah, I guess, uh, fuck your free speech. Fuck your freedom. Gotta fire drag kings for doing nothing except for doing drag in their spare time. You get school board members that are more concerned with being woke more concerned with these radical sexual revolutionaries God. and plugging them into schools than they are actual academics. Uh -huh. And so what we've called on, I've been really clear, this principal should be fired immediately. Why? We've already seen this principal has hired another drag queen to work underneath him at the school. Okay. Wow. This has to be wow. rooted out immediately. Why? You know, we, we do Who always cares? We talk about how the left is infiltrating the schools. And I'm so glad that you said even in red states because people you know in in places like yeah, that's because nobody really gives a shit you guys are just doing fake outrage oklahoma may feel like they are that they are immune to this you have called for his dismissal um but the district is opposing you they're dragging their yeah because they do anything wrong he did not do anything fireable whatever he does in his own personal time is his goddamn business high heels, so to speak. What can be done? What can you do or what can the parents do? Well, what we've done is we've been putting tremendous pressure on the school board, on the superintendent. Parents have been showing up at the school board meeting. This yeah, trying to harass him, get him fired for fucking nothing. 
The new Red Scare. Oh my god, you dress as a woman one time. Meanwhile, teachers are the enemies now. Principals are the enemy, teachers are the enemy. So this is Sneeko. Remember Sneeko from the last show who uh, was hanging out with a bunch of his little 12-year-old friends. They were like, fuck women, fuck drag queens, fuck trans people. And he was like, what have I done? Well, now he who is uh, directly responsible for misinforming, for leading a whole generation of young boys down the wrong fucking path, a path of inseldom and hatred. Of course, he got to point out this teacher who seems like an amazing teacher who is using rap to try to educate and excite her uh, students about learning. Of course, she is the bad guy, and he somehow in his mind is the good guy. And uh, this, this in his mind is what's making her uh, not only a a bad teacher, uh, but an oppressor of black people. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with that? They look happy, they look excited, they look, they're engaged and having fun in school. Isn't this exactly what we want uh, for young black culture? But no, black culture is the real oppressor of black people. Uh, say this guy, holding young men back. Just garbage, being rewarded for it. Making millions doing this, folks. Meanwhile, more victims of Russell Brand have come forward. I knew they were going to. There was one girl who uh, Russell Brand exposed himself to right before he went on a show, and then he went on the show and he bragged about exposing himself to her. Nothing happened to him. And uh, then, apparently, he sexually assaulted a masseuse. He sexually assaulted her uh, so vilely that she contacted the cops. The cops investigated and decided uh, that they weren't going to do anything to him. And so she was so, like, serious. She protested took it to a a higher level of authorities to try to get something done about it, who also decided they were going to do nothing to Brand. So obviously it was something very traumatizing to her that she wasn't willing to remain silent, that she went to multiple different authorities and tried to get something done about it. They did fucking nothing. So of course, I know all the right-wingers are going to surround their wagons. Oh my God, he's just being attacked because he's a true teller. It's the deep state. The deep state went back in time and told all these women of the past to lie about him. And then on the trash world, time for some ACAB. Three cops in Washington are facing trial after murdering Manny Ellis in 2020. Ellis was tased and beaten for walking while black. They took turns kneeling on him and then wrapped a bag around his face. An hour later, he was dead. They bent on paid leave for three and a half years. We have to abolish the fraternal order of police, folks. I I know, like, it's... I'm full of shit, I know. I know that this is never going to happen. I know it's not. I know that America will have to collapse completely before this ever happens. So I'm just, like, talking fairy tales. But it still has to be said. And we do have actually decent ideas on how to reform the police, how to tear the whole system down and rebuild it back up. It's not like we're just talking out of our ass, like we're just saying, oh, this should be done without any ideas of how to do this. We do have some good ideas for this, but it's never going to fucking be done. We can't even stop Trump from being president. How are we going to fucking reform the goddamn police? Meanwhile, as Johnny Axum says, the only way to form street thug cops is remove them from a community they are terrorizing. Here's how it is. If you dare even film the God men, they know nothing will happen to them. They know they can abuse you. They know they can get away with it. They know no one's ever going to stop them. Even if you record them doing it, they don't care. Literally, all he did was use his First Amendment rights to tell them that they're a bad police. That's all he fucking did. This is not illegal. Literally protected by the Constitution. They don't care. Stop. 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 Stop.
Look at him. Look at these fucking roided out meatheads. Just looking for an excuse to abuse somebody. And when the person files a lawsuit, it's you and I. They got to pay the bill. While well, they get put on paid leave. It's just a tremendously broken country at the moment, folks. I know it's depressing. I, I am trying to be like positive, but how, how can you be positive? How can you be positive when these are the people controlling us, running us, abusing us? And here's another one, folks. So this cop was dating this woman. Ronald Davis, 37, was dating this woman for a few months, was having an affair with her. I guess she broke it off or something. So he decided he was going to get back at her. So he decided to claim that she was crazy and suicidal and have her committed. So he went out and he found her and he tackled her on the ground, her former lover, and committed her. So now she's suing him, suing the the police because they committed her against her will because of her psycho ex-boyfriend. And this other douchebag, this citizen recording it, went along with him to back it up. Also should be in jail. Watch this very disturbing bullshit. Need to get away from you. No. She's very eloquent. She's obviously not crazy. She speaks well. She knows exactly what's going on. She knows she's being abused. And she's telling him directly to his face in no uncertain terms. But it's having no effect. No. This is normal. I don't care what anybody says. Can I please stand up? Okay. I'm not going to any jail. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going anywhere. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What is wrong with you? Would you do this? Yeah, exactly. But if you want to sit on me and you call the cops on me. So this is literally going on for 12 minute folks where he abuses her, sits on her. And the guy filming basically, look, the guy filming, it's taken the cop side, of course. Except disagree with you. The guy recording needs to be tried as an accessory. I can't. It's definitely not a work. No, I can't. Can I just sit up? I can't breathe. Why won't you listen to that? He doesn't care. Dude's a fucking psycho. He's a cop. Of course he's a fucking psycho. Yeah, she's about to get paid from us. So yeah, he's just abusing her, choking her, holding her down. I didn't do anything. That's all I have to. I didn't do anything. I don't. I don't think that's the situation. Huh? I don't think that's the situation. Nobody's here to hurt you. Literally, he's there hurting her. God damn it! Put this motherfucker who's filming under the goddamn prison with this bald sack of shit. At all. Watch your antenna, dudes. So yeah, they arrested him. Uh, he going to fucking jail. Charge his ass with fucking kidnapping. Is good God, at least they fucking arrested him. But once again, she's going to get a payout from us. Because that's how the goddamn system works. And that is my trash world. Bootlicker. Lots of bootlickers out there, that's for sure. Effing ridiculous.
Assault and kidnapping, yep, it sure the fuck is. Uh, I love when they record their crimes. Two studies have found that at least 40% of police officers' family experience domestic violence. Yeah, you're way more likely to be a criminal if you're a cop. That's just facts. Angering. Tonight, that's the angry little bit. I gotta calm down, folks. Gotta calm down. Actually, I'm, uh, my heart rate is as low as it's ever been, but still, it's very angry. That's hard to watch. It is hard to watch. Almost hard to believe that he recorded that himself, but they're so fucking dumb. What do you expect from these people? And all right, folks, uh, please get your super chats in. Gonna do one more section and then gotta read the super chat. So you know you wanna get them in. Uh, but for now, it's time for some Beyond Parody. Finally, finally something to cheer us up. Beyond Parody! And first off of Beyond Parody, it's Mr. Tranny Seaman, uh, Joey Monarito, Marinero as I like to call him, uh, who's here to own Joe Biden. An amazing gotcha on Joe Biden from this brain genius. And Joey Marinero says, uh, he, well, he posts, first of all, this post from President Biden that says, glad to have you back, Mr. President and Mrs. Uh, Zelenska. Mrs. Zelenska, and so Joey Marinero says, Joe Biden's social media team is so incompetent. How incompetent are they? They can't even spell Zelensky's name right. I'm sure it's spelled correctly on that $325 million check, exclamation point. Ooh, gotcha, gotcha, Joe Biden. You're so stupid for not knowing how to spell, what's that? That's actually how you spell her name? Yes, yes it is. She kept her last name, and her last name is Zelenska. Spelled exactly like this. So uh, not only is Joe Biden not incompetent, you are incompetent. You didn't bother even to do a five-second Google search before you did this gotcha. I love it when they make their own self look so fucking stupid, but what do you expect from Mr. Tranny Seaman himself? Not the best, not the brightest. And uh, then, folks... New op-ed from Jerkules just dropped. Kevin Sorbo did an opinion piece on Fox News that was spread all over social media called Let's Make Hollywood Manly Again. Hollywood demonstrates that society misunderstands masculinity. That's right. Let's make Hollywood manly again. Wait a minute. Let's take a look at the uh, top 10 male actors right now. Tom Cruise? Is Tom Cruise effeminate? He's not very tall, but he plays a lot of action heroes. Not, not pretty manly. Will Smith? Will Smith, pretty manly. I mean, it was a freshman of Bill Air. He's not like uh, super jacked. He pretty, Leonardo DiCaprio? Leonardo DiCaprio, like banging every 18 to 26 year old model on the planet. He pretty masked. Brad Pitt? Oh my God, Brad Pitt. Sex symbol, lady killer. Brad fucking Pitt. He's fucking masculine as shit. Dwayne Johnson? You say it, Dwayne Johnson ain't masculine? Chris Hemsworth, that's fucking Thor, dude. Vin Diesel, okay, I see with Vin Diesel, kind of a pussy. He's too much about the family. I don't even fuck Vin. Tom Hardy? Bane? I'm just saying, to me, it seems like uh, Hollywood pretty fucking manly. Anyway, Kevin says, leave the saving of the world to the men. I don't think so, quipped Elastigirl and Pixar's The Incredible. Oh, no, a cartoon had a pro-woman statement in it. That was 2004. Since then, Helen Parr's popular feminist maxim has come to define Hollywood's endemic anti-man ethos. Her words seem to underlie every major entry for cinema's largest uh, mentum, from recent girl boss movies to more male-oriented film, all of which include obligatory nod to superior strength, intelligence, and independence of womankind. That's right. All the popular new movies make the dudes look like such dumbasses, such pussies, where the women or the heroes, and uh, what's that? Let's take a look at the top 10 grossing movies of 2022. Okay, uh, Top Gun, Maverick. Yeah, wasn't all the men pussies in that? Black Panther, literally. A badass superhero man, Doctor Strange, badass superhero man, Avatar, badass superhero male, Jurassic World, badass superhero man, Minions, I guess he was a dumbass, Batman, badass superhero male, Thor, Spider-Man, Black Adam, Elvis, 
Yeah, totally, totally. All the uh, top movies are backing up your point there. Just good, goddamn it. So fucking stupid. The dumbest among us getting op eds. But reality has no basis on anything they fucking say. Meanwhile, over on the QAnon section, the Canadian Chuds are back at it. And this very normal, uh, very non perverted. Canadian Chubb would like you guys to know he's all about the children. He cares about nothing more than children. He doesn't have any himself. He doesn't have any himself, but he really loves your children. It's hurry, hurry. There's no, there's no quality time spent. It's hurry, hurry, hurry. Get the kid out to school. Then the kid comes home from work. Uh, school, I mean. You come <laughs> yeah. home from work. Yeah, the kid comes home from work. No, that's how you guys want it to be. That's why you keep getting rid of all the child protection laws. You eat dinner. Uh -huh. you, have a, you, you give them a bath or whatever the hell you do with them. You play right. with them for maybe half an hour. Is that enough time? No, but that's because capitalism, because you're forced to look, work your life away for slave wages just to support your family. How is what you're saying going to change that? It's the only place in the world, only place for, in humanity, where you give your children to complete strangers. Think well, that's not true. That happens all over the industrialized first world but only because of capitalism and the fact that you have to work so much of your life away. Think twice about that. Homeschool them. They're going to get, they're going to learn more by hanging with you at the house, learn how to cook and learn how to chop wood. And okay, but people have to work because they can't survive. It costs $20,000 just to have a kid, much less to raise them. Rent is incredibly outrageous. So both parents have to work these days to scrape by. So you have to put your kids somewhere while you work. Learn how to do all this other stuff and sit down with an hour and do some math and arithmetic and, uh, and, and do some math and arithmetic. Yeah, you know, all the arithmetic. Do the arithmetic with your kids. Teach them how to write cursive. Why? That is very outdated. The children are very, very important. That's right. Nothing more important to this guy with the children. He has spent his entire life to raising and supporting his children. He didn't. Don't forget that. They're number one. One, in my life, I got no kids. <laughs> number one in my life is the children. I mean, I don't have any kids, but your children are number one in my life. Your children are all I think about, y'all. But I'll fight for yours, sure as hell. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, please don't. Please do not fight for, uh, I don't have any children, but uh, don't fight for any children. Just uh, maybe lay off the children. Giant fucking weirdo. And then, uh, meanwhile, they're so weird, folks. So they did a new documentary on cnn about the uh jfk is coming back to life QAnon cult i played one clip from the last show and here's a brand new one this lady left her family to follow this cult member who believes jfk is coming back no this woman pamela respino eskeen calls herself nanny codes when I met her in Dallas, she told me she left her family in Louisiana 16 months ago for because your family. of her belief in this. So what was your question you pointed over there? So JFK got assassinated just a few yards from here. So did Jesus Christ. And what about uh, wait a minute, what? Jesus Christ got assassinated in Dallas? I, I missed that part of the Bible, y'all. But JFK Jr. I believe he's alive. So that he didn't die in a plane crash? No, he didn't. You think that was staged somehow? Yes, or? it was. Okay. It's a war. It's a war against good and evil, and they've been trying to kill the bloodline of Jesus Christ forever. A bloodline. A bloodline, yes. Uh -huh. These women also believe in President Kennedy's resurrection. Abraham Lincoln was the direct descendant of Jesus Christ. Bloodline. Right. And then you would have your connection with Donald Trump. Of course. Trump. JFK Makes Jr. And Obviously. Am I forgetting anybody? Um, Elvis? Elvis Presley. Elvis. Correct. They all come from the bloodline. Makes JFK sense. was a Democrat. So I think people are confused why all these Trump supporters love JFK so much. Well, because the system's rigged. Right. There, there's Democrat, Republican, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It's all about values. Uh -huh. <laughs> A common belief. Uh, he does not share your values, I can assure you. Uh, he's dead, but he did not. Is that President John F. Kennedy knew what the deep state was up to, and so for that he was assassinated. This is hard for some people to believe because Kennedy Very was a Democrat and right. QAnon is a far-right group. But Kennedy was also an extremely popular political figure. A whole people is lifted up. 
Jesslyn Cook is a reporter working on a book about the devastation conspiracy theories have caused for families across America. Anyway, Moonbats and Moonbats, as far as the eye can see, hard to believe they're ahead right now, but not really. Because America! And, uh, and they're so fucking weird. So uh, this lady is one of the ladies that was at uh, an abortion clinic protesting. I think she might have a little bats in the belfry. So you're out here promoting Planned Parenthood. You have a lot of satanic symbolisms on your tattoos. Mm -hmm. Are you a Wiccan? Definitely. Or is that... You know, white magic, black magic, how does that all work? Blue magic. I mean, do you have the symbolism on your arm? I'm not joking. Nope, she's not. Um, I was just wondering, you know, how you feel about that. You know, they say that Satanists or people involved in witchcraft. Uh-huh. Because Satan, and if you're a Satanist, Satan is just a form of something. Yeah, right? it's a form of something, right? Bullshit. That they take their babies... Uh, they intentionally get pregnant and they sacrifice their children. Definitely, that's the thing. And your tattoos remind me of something with Lady Gaga. Oh, sure, so Lady, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was indoctrinated. Uh -huh. um, it's not called indoctrinated. Uh -huh. It's like when you get jumped into a game. Okay, initiated. Initiated, yeah. She was initiated Definitely. by this person that was a Satanist. Totally. And they had put her out, dropped her out in the woods uh -huh. or something Definitely. in the dark. And right. she had to like have a blindfold on and learn like survival skills with no <laughs> sight. It's quite crazy. It was a documentary. Yeah, it was a documentary. Totally happened, folks. They just dumped Lady Gaga out in the middle of the woods, blindfolded, and they went all naked and afraid on her ass. This is a real life. What the fuck are you talking about? Lady Gaga ain't no blindfolded out of the woods trying to do skills and shit. I about could see her like in a $400,000 RV glamping out there with her college friends or some shit. But she ain't out there fucking learning survival skills. Moron. Idiots, idiots, as far as the eye can goddamn see. And uh, that'll be our party. More moon bats. But this one, folks, I think might be right. Hi, everybody. We're Sunday, Hi. the 24th of uh, uh, September. Sorry. Right. Just wanted to say that um, it's very important to take all your electronical things. Electronical. Anything that can have Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Smart Fuck that. TV. Smart. Smartphone. Anything that is smart. Well, she's safe. <laughs> that can, can get a signal from the... Sorry. That can get a signal from uh, the 5G towers. Oh which, my God! By the way, should be put down. Yeah. Everywhere. Right. The 5G towers. What technology? Because on the 4th of October, they're going to send a signal mm -hmm. from there that can destroy everyone. Oh my God! Destroy everyone. Uh, so what you should do what is take do? aluminum foil. Aluminum? Aluminum? What is aluminum foil? Anyway, uh, foil. Always great. Definitely. Not something moon bats, psychopaths, and conspiracy theories uh, talk about. And wrap them up and put them in your vehicle 200 meters away from your home. Wait a minute. You're supposed to wrap what up in aluminum foil and put 200 meters from your home? What are you talking about? Why would... Uh, I don't know. And also take a place in your house, a room in your house, and put aluminum foil two, uh, aluminum three foil. times layers. Two, three times. Layers and layers. In that place and put stay there over. from the 4th Stay there to the forever. Forever until you starve to death. 5th of October. And also, you should have uh, get a heavy metal detox. Oh, heavy. Because all the chemtrails... Stop listening to heavy metal music, y'all. Heavy metal detox. No more heavy metal music for me. Fuck Metallica. They've been spreading have aluminum and aluminum. it is proven if you don't believe Proven. Just swipe your vehicle. Swipe it. Put that dust on huh? a paper, take on an element. That's right. You don't believe in the chemtrails, swipe your car, and then put that on a piece of paper with an element. And put it underneath, and you'll see all the... Put it underneath the element. Aluminum. That you'll see the aluminum. So you have to all have, have a detox, a heavy metal it. detox. You detox. can get them. Mm. Just uh, look it up. You look can it up. get the... the the pills, um, the pills in pharmacies and mm. natural product places products. and on Amazon. Amazon. So that's all I had to say. And to I say. hope you have all a nice day. I hope you have a nice day, folks. Get your aluminum.
immediately wrap your whole body in aluminum and sit in your closet for three weeks. Better safe than sorry. And folks, here's the moon bats. We kept saying that birds weren't real, but we never stopped to ask ourselves if it was mosquitoes that weren't real. Look, a mosquito with a serial number. Proof, proof, folks, look. The deep state releasing mosquitoes with serial numbers only. Uh, this is an aphid, and aphid have like dots on their bodies, and this one does kind of look like a number. It kind of looks like a 36, but that's just uh, spotting from the aphid, and that would be the worst serial number ever. Are you thinking they only put on like 36 of these out in nature? That's not very many. Just saying. That's a, uh, a bad conspiracy. We'll skip this. I'm tired of talking about Lauren Boebert. And uh, that, they got nothing else to complain about, folks. Nothing else to outrage people about. So they got to upset people over John Fetterman wanting to be comfortable. Oh, no. So Rand Paul showing up to work at the Capitol building barefoot wearing a bathrobe. Okay, good. Literally, who gives a shit? Looks fine. As long as you're doing your job, as long as you're passing laws, which you don't pass laws that benefit citizens, but if you did that, we'd have no fucking problem with it. Who gives a fuck what you're wearing? Thank you for proving our point for us. We are so owned. Meanwhile, here's how they're proving how ridiculous Fetterman is, because, hey, I couldn't get into a five-star expensive-ass restaurant in New York City dressed like Fetterman, so, uh, point made, I guess. These are people continuously complaining about elites. It's surreal to see the populace who constantly rail against the elite suddenly say, hold on, why isn't the senator acting like an elite and dressing in 5K suits and going to a fancy Michelin star restaurants? Yeah. It's the fucking Congress, not a fancy restaurant. Almost like these two things are not the same. He is representing his district and they dress like this. He should be comfortable if he wants to. Fuck off. Nothing burger bullshit. Meanwhile, you know why he's dressing like that, folks? Because his clothes are Marxist. He got those Marxist clothes on, hoodies and shorts. So Marxist. Representative Clay Higgins says, are we supposed to believe that this guy can't dress himself, yet he can perform as a senator? Actually, I've seen the recent video. He's doing a great job performing as a senator. He seems incredibly eloquent and empathetic and doing an amazing job. His clothes have no bearing on it whatsoever. Uh... Let me say, I don't buy it. This lurch is a communist, and he's demonstrating his allegiance to Marxist principles by wearing workers' clothes. Oh, no, not workers' clothes. I dare he have some kind of camaraderie with everyday people, with the working man. It's horrible. Doesn't know he's supposed to be part of the elite. He's supposed to be wearing $5,000 suit to separate himself from those commoners. He's supposed to be one of us, not one of them. This fucking Marxist. Yeah, way to show that you're the elite. Not the ownage you think it is. Meanwhile, uh, Michael Flynn getting the Latino vote out uh, for the Trump campaign and as always reaching out to the best and brightest minds among us. Number Latino one, ASAP. Trumpito. Say that again. <laughs> Latino, Latino Trumpito. Trumpito. <laughs> Latino Trumpito, I love it. I love it. Love what it. is it, brother? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. So, what is it? What's it about? Coming together as unity, bringing the uh, black, white, brown people together. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. I don't care if you're purple with pink polka dots. Exactly. This is about this country. We've got to bring everybody together. Definitely. Music is going to be part of that. Uh huh. It's going to drive us together. So, this Latino Trumpito, Latino Trumpito, I love, love it, it, baby. I love it. <laughs> Mega, mega 24. Go. Holy Trump. Isn't he so supportive of immigrants and brown people? Absolutely. You guys are on the right side of history. Should be real proud of yourself. Meanwhile, Jordan Peterson has the media literacy of an eight-year-old. Worse, even. This guy who is the thought leader on the right, their daddy, can't tell clear AI pictures and sarcasm from real life. So uh, here the Wall Street Silver says, with the new dress code being relaxed at the U.S. Senate for Senator John Fetterman, other senators have decided to show their flair. Also in new outfits, Senator Cory Booker and uh, Senator Kristen Sinema this week. Yeah, look at them. They're dressed like Hunger Games. 
totally real life. Didn't Cory Booker wear this short shorts, frilly, and pink outfit to the Senate floor? Absolutely, this is real. And Jordan Peterson's like, everyone's a spawn to all. God damn it, Jordan Peterson, get off the goofballs. Retire already. Meanwhile, here's how goofy conservatives are. Joe Rogan. That's why the mainstream media doesn't want you to know about it, bro. You're the mainstream media. Literally. Joe Rogan has 115 million monthly listeners, while all the major U.S. news networks hover around the 7 million mark. Yet he still tries to sell this narrative to his knucklehead fans that he is not the mainstream media. Can't get any fucking more mainstream than you, Joe goddamn Rogan. Finish this off on Beyond Parody with a strong one. A new Ron DeSantis ad just dropped. Let's have a look. This is the face of electile dysfunction. So is this. And this. Are your poll numbers sagging? Has your campaign lost that spark? Do you find yourself compensating for your shortcomings in other ways? <laughs> the boot. The fact is, one in three GOP candidates has some form of electile dysfunction, a political condition also called failure. <laughs> Luckily, there's hope. Introducing Viagra, the one-stop solution for those experiencing electile dysfunction. Ron, try Viagra and save yourself from further humiliation. My mom, you, or my, my wife. Viagra, <laughs> for when your campaign's <laughs> performance is more flaccid than fantastic. Side effects may include feelings of worthlessness, anger, impotence, financial ruin, confusion, frustration, constipation, flatulence, depression, rage, and failure. Viagra, my mommy, I mean wife, oopsie. Good God, they're so weird. Conservatives, so weird. And that is my Beyond Parody. Folks, got a patron show tonight, just like every night after the show. We do the after party with Dusty Smith. Here we go. Boom. Not loading up. Load up. Show the thumbnail. There we go. There's me sacrificing Jesus to an angry crowd. That's what we're going to do tonight. We got lots of stuff to cover. If you've never joined the after party, uh, you should. It's like in ways better than this show because it's more casual, it's more random shit, it's fun, and uh, you should come hang out with us. Available to all, both the Dust Buddies and my patrons. Link in the description of this video. Click on the description uh, and click on my patron. All levels of patron get access to not only tonight's after party, but all the other after parties. Literally hundreds of hours of exclusive content just for you. So if you want more Dusty, you can have it. Go join my patron. And let's read the super chats from all you heroes. Mitchell Guide! Get to five Cult of Dusty memberships. Uh, I want to see all you Dusties at the after party. Thank Mitchell God. Appreciate you. Uh, sure, Loke, $10. Thank you, Sure Loke. You rock. Pistina the Fist. Love you, Pistina. Sure Loke, five more dollars. Who yeah. Sure Loke. RB, $20. Hey, Dusty, it's me. R, what up, R? I am laying low. Mental health problems. I'm sorry to hear that. Had to change my username and take down my picture to feel less paranoid. Doing my part for the kitties. I saw Tony. I love you. I love you. Hope you feel better. I don't ever worry about that. My whole life is out in the public. Whatever happens, fucking happens. It's all good. But I understand everybody can be like me. And I, I hope you uh, know that you're loved. And we're all in this together. Fred Burton, $2. Reach out to the God Podcast. Interview him. All right. I will look into that. Thank you. Rocket, six nine two three forty dollars That is very generous. Woo! How well do you understand the fair use rules regarding using news clips in a YouTube video? Um... I understand it fairly well, but it's sort of random. Like there's no, like you never know if you're actually gonna get busted or not because it depends on who reports you and the person who actually watches you. It's more like an opinion based on whoever just happens to uh, catch the flag. I try not to worry about it too much. Whatever the fuck it happens, happens, you know. Thank you, Rocket. That was very generous. A boogie person, $5. Uh, for what it's worth, my mental health ain't so good right now either, and I have to adult anyway. I know, right? I'm sorry. I'm so depressing. I'm just trying to motivate you guys to uh, get out there and do whatever the fuck you can to keep Trump out of all of us like I did the first time. Didn't work very well either that time. Urban Mass, $10. Apathy is our default because people are staring into their devices. Republicans don't need violence. They can just push a fascism in the midterm elections. Most people wouldn't care. They are winning. Yep. That's why we got to fucking try to light a fire under people's asses. Happy the angle, fucking cut it. Swagger Cat, $20. We need to act like Biden is 100 points behind. Agreed. 
Get friends ready to argue with your drunk uncle, whatever it takes. The Pharaoh send their regards. Hey, scratches from here. Thank you, Swagger Cat. Hell yeah. Uh, regardless of what's happening, let's pretend like we're behind to make sure we do what we need to do. Yo, White Cat Sully, what? Michael Wright's $57. I don't even have no White Cats. I wish I did, though. White Cats are pretty. But uh, I'm going to ignore your cat racism. And love to show you anyway, you 57 given motherfucker. Mm, Michael Reich, even your name sounds sexy. The third right. Wait a minute, no. Um, unfriendly atheist, $2. Embrace absurdism and vote blue. Hell yeah, I'm already going to do that. So way ahead of you. Oh, Belita, take a pay leave, Dusty. I don't make enough money to take a pay leave. I can't afford to. I'm actually uh, finding myself supporting a lot of different people and things now so i have to make more money unfortunately but uh thank you for supporting me bubbly i appreciate you then what what i feel well louisiana is gonna go red no matter what i try to talk to these people uh but they don't care but at least we can like help the uh popular vote not that that matters or anything but maybe psychologically it'd be good we can add to that same problem i have in mississippi where my vote doesn't seem to count but you gotta do what you can do day what up day 46 dollars very generous dave Damn it, late again. This dollar a minute shit started to kill me. You'd be even later. You'd be like uh, two hours late. But you missed the show then, I guess. I seriously need to get uh, here all bloody time. Hell no, nah, later the better. As long as you keep giving a dollar per minute, you're late. Love you, Dave. Appreciate you, you hero. $20 is Cole James. Cole James, woo woo. Love me some Cole James. I'm gonna name my kid after you. Ben Watt, if you're not angry, you're not paying attention. Yep, angry is the correct emotion. Get fired up. Fired up. Roses, $10. Thank you, Roses. Hey, Miss Misty joining us tonight. Hey, been all of my face now. I'm surprised. You guys got mad at me because I didn't put her on the show last night or last time. You're like, where's Misty at? And I was like, she ain't in here. You're like, fuck you, Dusty. Misty was the best part of the show. And she's back to love her daddy. Thank you, everybody who's donating and helping out the cats. You guys rock. And thank you, Roses. Anthony Cannon, 499. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm from Louisiana, too. I already saw a Republican ad that used the word woke, and these people are freaks. Ask them to define it. That'd be awesome. Bob Hawk, $7.99 Australian. Some European names are different anyway. My last name was Kaminsky. However, the females of my family's last name was Kaminska. Yep. Might want to Google it before you act like you know there. Aaron Arrow. BBC, what up, BBC? $20. Love me some big black Corvette. Appreciate you. Good to see you tonight. Bob Hawk, 799. I have a problem with Americans saying aluminum. Uh, it's uh, aluminum. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's just like beryllium. Oh, it's aluminum. Aluminum, like beryllium. That's too hard. Cadmium and magnesium. I can say those words. You can't buck the trend and use the um. I'm America. We just do the best we can. It's all fucked up to us. You're clowning me again a little bit. You're clowning. Anchor hair pieces, how dare you, not I dare you. You're right, it is how dare you. I dare you correct me. Mr. Anderson, hello, Mr. Anderson. Get the five of you lucky motherfuckers, some dusties. Dusties. You give him some love and show up at that party tonight. Thank you. Uh, Carolyn and Mick will get the vote out or we're done for. No more MAGAs, please, guys. I mean, like I said, I'll be fine. I'm going to do what I can, but uh, some of you better be real concerned. Tristan. Can you play us out some Wobble Wobble tonight? All right, I was going to play a... Uh... Yeah, talking points. Uh, God damn it, what's the... D butt ponies! I was going to play butt ponies tonight. I had a brain fart. But I'll play Wobble Wobble for you there, Tristan. And uh, MJ! Thanks for your bristling expose of the alleged failing democracy. Hey, no problem. Somebody got to do it, right? Somebody had to uh, have some anger. There just ain't too many shows like this out there, folks. Like, I don't really, there's no real shows like this out there, but there are a couple left-wing shows out there, but they're not covering as many topics as I cover, as rapidly as I cover them. And uh, there's not a lot of popular left-wing shows out there. We re really got to support the left and start helping uh, get more of these voices out there. If you don't like, want to get mine out there, some, pick somebody, anybody, and uh, use your power to spread the message. It's desperately needed right now. And all right, thank you for everybody. Who super chatted tonight? Gonna to read all the rest of the super chats at the end of the show. But still got plenty of show to go, so please hit the like button if you haven't already. But for now, got two quick Karens for you guys. It's clear you're just a mess. You should be caring less. It's obvious you're completely out of touch. Cause, bitch, you're caring. And this 
this week, it's a Karen Rewind. But you guys remember that video where uh, this lady was in Victoria's Secrets and uh, this a black lady went in to turn in a coupon to get some free panties. And I guess uh, it was during the pandemic and uh, this lady was standing a bit too close. And so she asked the white lady, hey, can you uh, back up and social distance? And then I guess uh, the lady didn't do it. And so she started recording her. And then the lady freaked out about it. Remember this? So anyway, apparently it came out that she is mentally ill. Brian Krasenstein, who I don't like, fuck this guy, says, Update, remember the crazy Karen uh, video two years ago where a woman laughed at a Nigerian woman at a mall and then began to break down? Remember how the internet made fun of this woman and called her a Karen endlessly? I remember I did that. Turns out Abigail Effick is disabled. She was the woman who broke down crying after trying to lunch at Ijeoma Ikta. She lives at a complex with residents who are intellectually and developmentally impaired. At the time, the internet blamed the incident on the color of the other woman's skin and pushed to have Abigail Elphick fired uh, from her internship. Following the indictment, Ijeoma Ekina raised 104000 to GoFundMe to sue the Curry and blame the incident on the color of her skin. In July, the lawsuit began and this week, new documents show that Elphick actually is disabled with a history of mental problems. I was horrified Tom Toronto, president of Bergen County's United Way, which runs the residential complex where Elphick lives, said it was a total loss of perspective and uh, proportion. She has a disorder. She has anxiety. She had a meltdown. Uh, then the world we live in took over, and it became something entirely different uh, than what it actually was, he continued. So, like, I, uh... I wanted to take some blame for this. I made fun of her as well with everybody else, and uh, it is a teachable moment. How we do have to be empathetic to, to some of these people and uh, maybe think that they probably have some mental illness, but also, like, mental illness is not an excuse to, like, chase somebody down, to be rude to them. Like, almost all of these people that are Karens have some kind of mental illness. If you just get a, a free pass, on Karenism, just by saying I'm mentally ill, then everybody would just say I'm mentally ill, and then there'd be racist shitheads everywhere. So uh, I, I I do feel though bad for it. I do think we have to be more empathetic towards people, and at the same time, this is absolutely not the way you want to react. And I can understand why the black lady's recording her because no one's going to believe her otherwise. All kinds of crazy shit happens, and if it's not on videotape, um, usually their side is not taken. So I understand why she freaked out though because uh. She was afraid she was going to get Karenized. She was afraid exactly what was going to happen was going to happen, and she had a total meltdown and handled everything exactly the opposite way it should be handled. Just for future reference, for any of you Karens out there, here's how you handle any of these situations. First off, don't say anything racist. Don't be rude to people. Just be nice. But if somebody like uh, thinks you're being rude and they turn a the camera on you, here's what you do. Walk away. You just fucking leave. And then it just looks like you're walking away. They have nothing on video that you fucking did anything. They can say, this person said this, they said this, they said this, but they don't have any proof of it. It's just their word against yours if you fucking walk away. It's so easy. But no, can't do it. Got to sit there and show their ass and make things worse. I know she's mentally ill probably and doesn't have uh, that level of uh, introspection to do that. But anyway, if any of you cares out there are seeing this, that is the uh, go-to move. Now, one more on the Karens, folks. Mel Karen, another uh, road rage moron. I don't understand why people get so angry on the road. People make mistakes. People are flawed. Just drive on. Don't let it ruin your day. Anyway, uh, this super alpha male tough guy threatens to rape this other man because that's a cool thing to threaten. Look at this. I will rape your fucking ass faggot. Yes, you are the gay one. 
I'm going to just rape you in your booty hole all night long. Bend you over, put my tiny cock in your booty hole and just plow away. You're the gay one in this scenario. You messing with the wrong dude? He will rape you. He's a rapist. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? That is not making you look good, Karen. Go home and think about what you did. And you probably about to lose your job. But I know, folks, he's mentally ill, folks. He's mentally ill, so he gets a pass. Everybody gets a pass now for their bad behavior. Now that's my Karens. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. I told you what he said anyway, so it's all good. Is gross looking top. He look all right. Not that bad. I'm going to R-word you with words. Yep. Always cool when you throw people with rape. No sound on the video. There was sound in that video. All right, I'll play it again and turn it up. There was absolutely sound in that video, though. I, I see it, but it is, it is not very loud, so let's turn it up a couple of notches. And closely. Look at this. Messing with the wrong dude! Yep, so scary, you rapist. Nice and... All right, let's move along, folks. Already 90 minutes into the world's greatest show. We got some religious bullshit coming up, followed by some what the fuck, followed by some woke panic, and then heroes! We got like four whole sections coming up. Long show tonight, so reward me with some super chats, but for now, it's religious bullshit. Everybody say religious bullshit, religious bullshit, religious goddamn bully bully shit. It's time for religious bullshit, motherfuckers. It's time for religious bullshit. Guess what I'm gonna start with, folks? I bet you can't guess. I bet, yeah, you can. Texas Pastor Brothers arrested on child sex charges. Two Leon County brothers with pastoral leadership positions at churches in Centerville and Buffalo were arrested following grand jury indictments Wednesday. Clark A. Travis was arrested in Buffalo by Leon County Sheriff's deputies with incident Tuesday night. Matthew, oh, without incident Tuesday night, Matthew T. Travis Jr. surrendered himself to Leon County Sheriff's office late Wednesday night. The duo is accused of sexually assaulting at least five children, according to authorities. I guess a family that molest together. I don't know how to finish that. Um... Matthew Clark served as spiritual leaders to Apostolic Life United Pentecostal Church in Buffalo. Oh, they're such spiritual leaders. Don't you want to take your children to these guys to be led spiritually to their bedroom? Sure you do, Christians. I'm sure they both must be secret drag queens, though. Gotta be. And uh, Baptist youth pastor arrests his own child sex charges. Always the ones you most expect. A former church youth leader, what? Youth leader? I can't believe it's a youth leader this time. In South Carolina, who was arrested last year for multiple sex crime against children, has been arrested again after another victim spoke out to investigators. William Pickney, Carpenter III, was arrested on Monday for criminal sexual misconduct with a minor. So, uh, yep, they raping all y'all's kids out here. I only wish Christians actually care about anything they say. Oh, well. Meanwhile, further proof that they don't actually mean anything they fucking say. They are about absolutely nothing. Here is MAGA cultist Lance Wallenu for griping at any Christians who have a problem with Donald Trump and the fact that he paid off porn stars and cheated on his wife when she was pregnant and goes on Howard Stern and talks about he's a sexual predator and has literally been found guilty of rape by a jury. But if you dare even think about any of that stuff, it's you who is sinning in the eyes of God because uh, God loves complete fucking shitheads. Let's have a look. I don't care if the church doesn't support politics or Trump, so long as they know that demons are running the country and that our lethargy, our ignorance, our, 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 our distraction. You know, I read these stupid articles by Christians about, well, we're looking for people of sterling character. You 
are, you're beyond the issue of whether you have your own personality preferences in this fight. The devil's picked the fight, my friend. The enemy has set it up so that he's coming after you. If Trump's the only guy you've got running, then maybe God set it up so you gotta get past your religious foibles and recognize there's bigger issues going on here than your predilections regarding pious candidates. That's right, God set this up on purpose. Yeah, the Bible talks about having integrity, being a godly man, and how you should support godly leaders who are actually full of integrity, but God purposely went against his word in the Bible and brought this sack of shit as his chosen candidate so you motherfuckers would get over all that bullshit he said in the Bible. It just makes sense. Good God. Whatever excuse they can make to worship the worst among us, they will do. Nothing they say matters. Meanwhile, cringe warning for those susceptible to cringe induced injuries. Hey, you guys have heard of Christian rap? Well, how about speaking in tongues rap? Why rap in regular verses when you can just rap baby nonsense? Oh, you think you stole a generation? No, says the Lord. Oh, Not no. another one, says the Lord. No, no says the Lord. No, says the you Lord. think you put a glitch? God, they're such fucking dorks. How can you be more dorky than Christians? Holy God. It's amazing how much money they make spreading this ridiculous, cringy bullshit. Tell them, no, says the Lord. No glitch, says the Lord. No glitch. Rata Bushkin. 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 wasn't embarrassing at all christians you're the best and meanwhile over at walmart i guess uh this no sam's club sorry my bad way different sam's club i think this lady just wants this guy's dick he pretty beefcake and he's like "Ooh, pray for me you big manly mans anyway and i'll also see you by the end Oh, yes. I just have like, really bad anxiety, just a lot of fear. Sure, you want me to pray for you right here? Yeah. I do. Please pray for me, you big strong man. Put your hands on me. Okay, let's pray. Should I clock out first? <laughs> God knows what's going on. He's nope, just get fired. Set up this boat. Go get the yard right now. Let me get me in. All right. I command right now in Jesus' name. Command it, y'all. All this anxiety, all the heartbreak that she experienced uh -huh. as a child. And I also see you by the yeah. end. Oh, Already yeah. out. She out like a light, folks. He's that good, folks. He's definitely not mentally ill in any way. This is for real, y'all. Set free. All the way. Everything's All the way. changed. Everything. Relationship. All finances. Of your whole destiny. Literally none of that's changed. You're still broke. You're still poor. You're still without a boyfriend. This guy's full of shit. But I love how he has to push back the camouflage to see her face. Everything is being changed. Everything's being restored. Everything the enemy stole from you. Your purity all the trauma that you've had to face any place anywhere any place, anytime, anytime. That's holy right. spirit will show up Astral just ghost. be available you never know never who know. jesus will send to you make sure you like this video make sure you like it folks the magical talking ghost can show up at sam's club anytime and make you pass out be prepared and they've been telling the same goddamn story my whole life, my mom's whole life, my grandma's whole life is jesus is coming back any fucking second now same story, goddamn, they never get tired of this. I do believe 
we are living in the last seconds of the last days. The last you... seconds of the last days. So, okay, uh, it's been lots of seconds since you put out this video and he doesn't come back yet. So clearly it's not the last seconds, right? See the Euphrates River drying up and God talks about that. When you see lawlessness running around. Oh no, there's never been people that are broken laws. Must be the end times. When you see in Matthew 24, where Jesus says, like in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Well, what was happening in the days of Noah? Or what was the sign of the days of Noah? It was a rainbow. Oh, the rainbow, that's right, the rainbow. I mean, God sent that rainbow, but this time it's the gays, so. Huh? He also says in another gospel that it's like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I really think that we're very close to days. the coming of the Lord within Definitely. I mean, who's to say days or years? You literally just said seconds. You said say. Now it's years all the fucking sudden. What the fuck? It could be days. It could be a thousand years. But any second now. No, that's not how time works. We need to tell people about Jesus. Yeah, definitely. God damn it. They literally told me this when I was a kid. Like brainwash. He's coming back any second now. Does any the signs of the times. It's exactly, exactly what they said in the Bible is happening right now. When I was five, 40 years ago, they were telling me this bullshit. Same exact thing. It will never end. When this guy's dead and gone, his kids will be saying it. When they're dead and gone, their kids will be saying it. Longest game of telephone fucking ever. Meanwhile, folks, here's a little preview of what's going to happen if Trump actually gets back in the White House, they're telling you right to our face. Theocracy is coming. Fascism is coming. They're not trying to hide it. If the word is supposed to rule over the nations, and who is the word? The bird? The bird's the you bird? You see how, how people miss this? You, you Watch this. If he's the king of kings and the lord of lords over all uh, nations, oh. then the lord is supposed to rule over all then the word is supposed to rule over all nations. Okay, that's literally globalism. You're literally talking about Christianity taking over the whole world, a one world government run by Christian. That is globalism. That is literally everything you guys claim that you're against. I didn't, the scripture says it. Don't blame me for being a globalist. The scripture said it. Okay, if that's the case, then. Yeah, the bird, 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 the bird's the word, bird, 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 the bird's the word. You get it, come on. My nationalism is not being driven out of some weird thing of trying to conquer the world like, I don't know, the Nazis, the National Socialists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm trying to conquer the world like the Nazis, but hey, I'm not weird like the Nazis. I'm doing it for a very good reason. As of the Bible. My love of God and my love for his word is the source of my nationalism. Definitely. Because I want to see it rule. Yeah, that sounds a lot like fascism. Holy God, but this is what I can expect, folks. These people are going to be even more in power if Trump gets back in the White House. Things go wrong. Man, this is heartbreaking to finish this out with tonight. We uh, shit on Christianity a lot, as we should. But what we go through in this country is actually a walk in the park to what Muslim countries go through. We are way ahead of them, sadly, because it's still bad here. It's still scary as shit here. So uh, this uh, Mexican girl put up a video of her just running in public, allowed to run, allowed to be free, allowed to wear shorts, and just exercise without being harassed. And tons and tons of Arab girls, Muslim girls, posted on there about how this is their dream. They sit around and they just uh, imagine a fantasy where they're allowed to just be free enough just to fucking run down the street without being arrested and harassed. That is shit. So uh, I'll read you some of these contents, comments while I turn it fucking down so I don't get copyrighted. My dream, I hope to feel this feeling. My dream, she's living my dream. My dream, my dream, my dream. Sal, how I'm not allowed to do this. My dream in a short video, you are living my dream. My dream is to live like this. I want so bad. I need to know how this feeling one day. My dreams have become a simple day for people. A normal day in her life. We all dreamed, I swear to God, one of my dreams. 
Lord, compensate us in paradise for everything we proclaim in the world and for fear of you. We will reject it. Our soul will be consecrated upon us. No, this is what's keeping you oppressed. This mindset. These fucking poor women. But this is why we need feminism, folks. Not just for America. To be the shining light of example for the rest of the world. It's important. And that's my religious bullshit. That is fucking sad. Damn Stone Age motherfuckers I know, right? Very primitive in their ideology. Our ideology is very primitive too, but they're somehow even more primitive, which is crazy. Yep, dream big. Oh no, she's wearing athletic shorts. Arrest her, but they would be arrested in their country. A lot of them. Christian Nazis, yes, of course. Crystal fascism is what it's all fucking about. They just say the quiet parts out loud now. Christian Taliban, yep. Ain't even trying to hide it anymore. All right, we're along, folks. Yell it out with me. What the fuck? And first off, oh, no, that's what the fuck. Did you guys see this one? Hey, I just started to think maybe you shouldn't go to, like, cheap carnivals and shit. Seems dangerous. Imagine dying to this kind of shit. They didn't die. Uh, but these people got stuck upside down for, like, 30 minutes? Yeah, seems bad. Eventually you'll die. Your blood will run to your head, and then you're dead after some time. That'll take a few hours, though. On this ride at Canada's Wonderland amusement park. Fucking Canada. Oh my god, no way. Yeah, not the best. Like, stay calm. Nearly 30 minutes. Everything going fun. Managed to bring the ride down and safely unload them. I bet they was happy. Like, yay, we get to live. Two oh. passengers reported chest pain afterwards. I'm sure they, they did. Released. Yeah, not great. How you guys doing? We're doing bad. How the fuck do you think we're doing? Get us the fuck now. He's suing everybody. And meanwhile, Marjorie Trader Queen is out there spreading Kremlin propaganda about the Ukraine. Did you know the Ukrainians are harvesting children's organs? You didn't know that because it's not true. It doesn't matter. Here's Marjorie. Charlie, by the way, we hadn't even talked about this. The country that, that, that Mitch McConnell and Schumer and Lindsey Graham and Tom Cotton and everybody can't wait to give another $100 billion to. Ukraine is one of the worst countries on the earth for child sex trafficking, and they're harvesting children's organs. I mean, Charlie. This woman is a woman who supports Andrew Tate, supports Russell Crowe, supports Donald Trump, who was found liable of rape, does not give a fucking shit. All day long supports the church, never called out the church for all the child raping they're doing, literally points the finger at people who are not abusing children in order to cover for actual child rapists, doesn't give a fuck, Meanwhile, in this goddamn trash world, what the fuck, Canada? So, did you guys see this one? This is real life. Meanwhile, in Canada... Zelensky's speech received at least a dozen standing ovations. There was also one for this man, a 98-year-old Ukrainian-Canadian who fought for Ukrainian independence against the Russians during the Second World War. Yay! Let's all stand and give an ovation for this guy who fought the Russians in the Second World War. And Zelensky was seen giving a, a fist. There he is, fist. Yay! Good on you, my brother. Standing ovation for fighting against the Russians in the Second World War. Only it turns out the guy was a Nazi. Fought for the SS, volunteered. And all you motherfuckers, goddamn it, on video is Trudeau giving a fucking standing ovation now i know that none of these people knew this I, this is all just fucking incompetence but goddamn talk about bad optics holy god when you're defending accusations that you're a country full of nazis that you support nazis that russia is not attacking you because they're trying to free your country from nazis don't stand up and give standing ovations to fucking nazis why are nazis living free in canada first off I got so many goddamn questions. This is all so fucking stupid. So, um, this guy took full responsibility for it. He is the one, speaker of the uh, HOC. 
On September 22nd in the House of Commons, I recognized an individual in the gallery. I regret my decision to do so. I guess uh, he was incompetent. I didn't know who that guy, this guy was. And I tried to click on his uh, apology. Oh, it finally loaded up. It was down all day, so this is me reading it for the first time. On Friday, September 22nd, in my remarks following the address of the President of Ukraine, I recognize an individual in the gallery. I have some, uh, I can't say this word. I have become aware of more information which causes me to regret my decision to do so. Subsequently, I wish to make clear that no one, including fellow uh, parliamentarians, and the Ukraine delegation was aware of my intention or of my remarks before I delivered them. The initiative was entirely my own, the individual in question being from my writing and having been brought to my intention. I particularly want to extend my deepest apologies to Jewish communities in Canada and around the world. I accept full responsibility. So just this dipshit didn't know what the fuck he was doing, but you should have Nazis living in your goddamn country to begin with. I want to Google people for you give them shout outs. That is some bad fucking optics. All the way around, some fuckery going on. And uh, meanwhile, in Florida. Police in Florida, they have identified human remains found in the mouth of a massive, and I mean massive, alligator in a neighborhood near Clearwater, Florida. Investigators are trying to figure out what happened. Steve Harrigan, he's live with what we know. So, Steve, what do we know? Arthel, we know the name of the victim, Sabrina Peckham, 41 years old, a woman with a history of arrest for trespassing in the wetland areas. This all occurred on Friday near Largo, Florida, right outside of Tampa, a place where there's known to be alligators, but residents really said they've never seen anything like this. This, as you said, was a massive alligator. It ended up measuring uh, 13 feet, eight and a half inches. It really shocked the local community because it was paddling down a canal along a residential street. Uh, alarmed neighbors called the fire department. They called fish and wildlife officers who came. They pulled that gator and the half corpse out of the water, shot it multiple times, killed it, put it on a flatbed truck, and then measured it at more than 13 feet. Now, gators are common in Florida in all 67 counties, but fatal attacks uh, on a Humans are rare, just 26 since the end of World War II. I would have never dreamt that an alligator would be in this area. Of course, I know there's a lake over across the street, and I know about the lake in Taylor Park, but not in this neighborhood, no. I would never thought that. Experts advise if you do find yourself in the jaws of a gator to fight back and target the eyes in hope of gaining release. Yeah, no shit, fight back! Definitely don't like going to the water with them. They'll fucking barrel roll ya. And uh, lastly, oh, night's what the fuck? Oh, folks, I don't know. This video, this uh, this picture went uh, viral, and I don't know why. It's just super cute cats. That's all I see here is super cute cats. I don't even understand why everybody has a problem. I, but for some reason, I suddenly want to have gay sex. I don't know why. I have the urge to have gay sex. I don't. Wait a minute. Let me make this picture smaller. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says gay sex and cats. Oh my God. Subliminal messages and cats now. Now the gay agenda fucking attacking cats. God damn it, gays. I still want to have gay sex, but not cool gays. Fucking use an AI to make me want to have gay sex. And I kind of want to have gay sex with cats too. That's just wrong. Fucking AI. Mm. No AI. No. That's my what the fuck. What we guys got to say about that? Uh, I know gay. Are we all gay now? I can't believe some little message being used for evil and not good as usual. And uh, fuzzy tummies and gay sex. Kudos. Yep. Got a couple in my lap right here. You can only see Pretty Boy, but Misty's right here, too. That right, Misty. I'm trying to lift this up. You can't see Whatever. Okay. Why did I see it right away? Because you're perverted, Bob. You got a mind like that. Kitty porn is kitty porn. I, I shouldn't say that out loud because the uh, translator might be like, Ooh, banned. My gay cat has a hot leather collar, but that sexy is spiked. Fuck yeah. You see, hypnosis complete. Force feminization. We're all 100% gay now. 
Leave it to the cats. The cats against us. Just evil. And all right, move right along, folks. It's time for... And first up on tonight's Won't Panic, they've banned Anne Frank's diary from schools now. Used to be a staple of schools. So like uh, 12 year olds, 12, 13 year olds, when I was a kid, they called us Anne Frank. Remember she was the one that had to hide the attic from the Nazis and she wrote down in her diary and uh, now they banned it. So why have they banned it? So there's a real part of Anne Frank's diary where she admits that she has uh, feelings for other girls, that she's a lesbian. And it's in her real diary where she talks about she is having a sleepover with a girl one time and that uh, she wanted to kiss her. And she asked if uh, they could show each other their breasts. And the girl said no. Really in the diary, but this is just a historical shit. So somebody made a graphic novel based off Anne Frank's diary. You know what a graphic novel is? Graphic doesn't mean sexually explicit. Graphic means it's like pictures, you know, like a comic books. It's a graphic novel. Only apparently a, a lot of chuds, a lot of conservatives, like it is on the internet, when they hear the word graphic novel, they think they're saying graphic as in like sexually graphic. And so freaked out and banned the book. Here's uh, Ben Collins to tell us about it. Hey everybody, hey, I just wanted to tell you about some particularly insidious pornography that was banned from a Texas school this week. Okay. It was the Illustrated Diary of Anne Frank. Amy thought school was a safe zone from sexually explicit instruction. So we're going to show you that this crazy ass news report video that is simply meant to freak shuds out in a second. But first, uh, let me show you the part they had a problem with. So this is right from the, from the uh, book. It says, but I had these feelings even before my period. I remember particularly uh, one time when I spent the night at Jacques. And uh, she's like, uh, could we show each other our breasts as proof of friendship? And she's like, absolutely not. Like, if she only knew how much I terribly desired to kiss her. That's like in Anne Frank's diary. It was a lesbian. So, uh. Anyway, freak out, Tom! Freak out from the judge! They're like, oh, hell no! They got this teacher fired over this. In order to super freak out the anti-woke broke brains, the local news CBS affiliate reported the story in this way. Amy Manuel is the mother of four children, three boys and a girl, ranging in age from 7 to 14. Their protection is her priority a task that can be challenging these days. I don't like them shoving all this sexually explicit things down my kids' throats. Um, they see it enough in social media and on TV and the commercials and different things, and now they have to hear it at school too. Amy thought school was a safe zone from sexually explicit instruction until this week when her sexually explicit destruction it's not a sexually destruction they're just reading Anne Frank's diary that's the shit she really wrote her twin eighth grade boys told her their reading teacher had exposed them to the graphic adaptation of Anne Frank's diary the graphic and it, it's either use the word graphic to mean sexual when the word graphic actually means illustrated I mean it's bad enough that she's having them read this for an assignment but then she also is making them read it aloud and making a little girl talk about feeling each other's breasts and didn't say that said can we see each other's breasts but like that's what the book said so when she sees a female while. nude she goes into ecstasy that's not okay some students in the class told their parents the teacher seemed to enjoy the student's discomfort. She was laughing also, and seemed, according to them, she seemed to be loving every minute of it. But Amy and many She's other such a parents you guys not read find it Frank. funny at all. Not they funny, considered guys. her exposing their children to the controversial Super content. Super porn! Can't get more porn than Anne Frank's diary. Disturbing. District administrators agreed, and on Friday announced the teacher would no longer work for the district. She knew what she was doing when she, when she, um... Right, she knew what she was doing when she made him read the diary of Anne Frank. Good God, what have we become as a society? So soft, so snowflakes. You guys should homeschool. Don't let your kids leave your sight. And then, uh, the new big outrage this week is hating on Taylor Swift. 
Apparently, Taylor Swift is the new Chud Broke Brain enemy number one. So first off, uh, she got like 35,000 young people to register to vote, which is uh, Chud Kryptonite! Evil! I dare you try to encourage young people to vote. We know who they're going to vote for. And then also, she started dating this hot professional football player who has a uh, endorsement deal, I guess, with Bud Light or something. So they're like, uh, this post this article, Taylor Swift's popularity is a sign of societal decline. And she is popular. She's like a one-woman economy. Everywhere she goes, tons of money is following her, like billions of dollars. She is a phenomenon right now. And Shaw Davis is like, Taylor Swift is dumb and her music sucks. Oh, got him. I love the fact that these guys are going after uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift fans are incredibly fucking loyal. I'm sure that's going to go over well. Meanwhile, they're attacking her new boyfriend, Travis Kelch. They're like, Travis Kelch is doing Bud Light and COVID shot commercials. He needs to fire all his marketing agents. Or he needs to just go ahead and cut his dick off, become a chick, and endorse Joe Biden. That's right. Isn't this incredibly hot, successful, giant, tall, muscular football player who is dating Taylor Swift? Such a dickless pussy. As Ron Flopsky says, uh, he scored a touchdown today in a 41-10 win and left the game with Taylor Swift. Seems to be doing okay. Like, I, I don't even know who this fucking dude is. But he seems to be doing pretty good for himself, in my observation. And here's uh, Dave Portnoy, fucking chud-ass Dave Portnoy from Bar- Barstool Sports. Shitting on both of them. It's like they don't have any kind of chemistry. I can't stop watching this video. Such a bizarre couple to me. Seems like zero chemistry. He's uh, judging all this of a four-second video. Let's have a look. Who's best? Thank you. Who's the best? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Going? Oh, my God. No chemistry. I can just tell by the way they're walking side by side briefly. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Going? Look at this fucking loser. This fucking tall, muscular, handsome, rich loser with Taylor Swift. What a dickless pussy he is. Hey, how you doing? God fuck is wrong with y'all of course i know the truth is like this other guy here um x slash twitter now is just a troll farm these people literally get paid now for being trolls because that's what gets them interactions and posts people making fun of them people spreading their bullshit so they don't actually believe anything they say they're literally just trying to play, post the stupidest uh most divisive stuff they could possibly think of in order to make money on twitter because it's a completely useless platform now that's what genius Elon Musk has turned it into. And uh, one more. Meanwhile, folks, I know you, as well as I, are still outraged at this McDonald commercial. Remember? Remember how we're all outraged? We're crying. I cried myself to sleep like three or four times this week over this horrible McDonald's commercial that all of us lefties are mad at. Remember? And uh, there's still a lot of folks, the way of the world, who has... 100,000 followers says this ad from McDonald's Japan has been causing a huge reaction online because portraying a happy white family it's from Japan I'm pretty sure all these people are supposed to be Japanese don't think about it portraying a happy white family enjoying time together is now pretty much an act of hate speech in the West how far we have fallen and how fast but once again they don't believe a word they say they're just posting this stuff you got 50,000 likes they don't care how stupid this is they're just trying to get clicks and make money off twitter because this is what the whole site is it's worthless uh, but it's also fun to cover and that is my woke panic are you guys crying as hard as i am about the mcdonald's commercial fucking mcdonald's commercial can't take much more of this guys bring back the potato head controversy i know were we all upset about that and the Dr. Seuss, so mad about Dr. Seuss, can't believe it. I have not slept yet. We'll try to get some rest, buddy. It does get better, I promise. Fucking Japanese ads. And, all right, folks, who loves overtime? You do, and you do, and you do. Cats, pretty boy, especially pretty boy loves overtime. In fact, you know what I'm going to do because it's overtime? Impromptu kitty party. Who wants an empty party? I stored. Ow. I stored some over here 
They didn't even know. Daddy is slick as fuck. Look at this! Woo! Kitty party! Kitty party! Kitty, what's the kitty party? Come get it, motherfuckers! Come get it! Come get the kitty party! There you go! Who we got? Who's showing up at the kitty party tonight? Come on, Miss Katana! Get your ass over there and get it! Come on! Everybody get over there and get it while I can get this good! Got all kinds of them showing up at the kitty party! Hell yeah, I got a CC! I got a half stash! I got a Katana! I got a, a, a Violet here! Miss Misty! Pretty boy! I don't know where the kittens are. Kitty, kitty, kitties! Come on, get some! Alright, you guys are missing out. Whatever. Whatever. Snooze, you lose, dudes. That's the way that fucking shit works. And alright, hell yeah! So, reward me for overtime. That's really where I was going for this. Hell yeah! And, uh, where's my mouse? Mouse. I lost my mouse. What the fuck is my mouse? What the fuck happened to it? Oh, here it is. I lost it in the kitty party. It happens. We'll put this bag of treats under my ball sack. It's going to go beautifully. Definitely. It's not going to come back to bite me in the nuts in a second. And last but not least, folks, it's time for some heroes. We could be heroes just for one day. And today's the day, motherfuckers! And first off, little heroes, big shout out to this Rottweiler and the other little dog who uh, saved this girl little's life. Missing toddler found sleeping in the woods using her dog as a pillow after walking three miles and barefooted. Apparently, one of her relatives told her to go to the house and she had any shoes on, thought she went in the house, but instead, little kid decided to run down the road for like three miles as they found her in the woods. When they were looking for her, this dog ran up, was barking, told them where to find her. And when they found her, she was asleep on top of this little dog. They were sitting there protecting the shit out of her. And she was completely fucking fine. So big shout out to a man and little girl's best friend. Love me some dogs. And uh, hey, I'm going to be shitting on Sean Penn next week. I know it. He's going to say something fucking stupid because he always does. He's kind of a dumbass a little bit. But this week, he on the heroes list for smacking down Sean Hannity. In his lame attempt to make Trump look like a good president. When Donald Trump took out the caliphate, you know what? He wiped them to smithereens. The caliphate, all during the Obama-Biden years, grew, 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 territory, territory. And he wiped them out one by one. Is this when he invited the Taliban to Camp David you're talking about? No, I'm talking <laughs> Yeah. Oh, snap! No coming back from that. Just trying anything they can to make him seem like he was effective when he was not in any way. And uh, then, big shout out to the writers and the actors who would, it appears, uh, in the white writer strike. The writer strike finally over. I guess we can get some quality TV back, even though I have been taking care of this for everybody. The greatest women in the history of mankind. But anyway, deal. WGA. AMPTP reached historic contract agreement to end 146 day writer strike. This deal is exceptional, and hell yeah, good on you heroes, worker solidarity. This is just starting, folks. We need strikes all over the place, nationwide strikes. Next up, it's the auto industry. Tesla needs to be unionized. They did a strike, and love to see it. People had to, like, buckle down. And get behind them, but they did it. Sacks of shit who tried to end it like Bill Maher and uh, Drew Barrymore. Uh, I'll give Drew Barrymore a little pass because she did do the right thing eventually, but good on you guys. Hell yeah. And right like the wind, we've missed you. And uh, meanwhile, remember this girl, this uh, high school trans girl that won uh, prom queen and has been roundly shit on and abused by conservatives. Because they ain't got nothing better to do to harass a, a high school girl. Anyway, uh, she commented about all the controversy, and she seems like a hero. Okay. No. Hey. It's not going to... Facebook one. Okay. What the fuck? I would... Why is it not playing? It played earlier, you sack of fucking shit. I would destroy everything you find fucking holy. 
You, fu you fucking with the wrong one. You fucking with the wrong one, motherfucker. This is my heroes. It's important. He wanted to see or talk. Oh my fucking god. Oh my holy Mary mother. Find you, you motherfuckers. Oh well, I guess we're not gonna get to see her be a boss about the situation. Fuck my life. Up. Don't you want to load up? Clearly your only fucking job is to load up. Okay, whatever. Anyway, she was... That's the just... Uh, last but not least! Shout out to Snoop Dogg, who usually I don't like. Kind of irritated at Snoop Dogg about the stupid NFT bullshit. But this week's some real hero shit. This is what we need from all celebrities. Use your platform for stuff like this. I just want to say this real quick, man. I'm a political shit. Ain't no fucking way in the world y'all can vote for Donald Trump when he come back up again. If it is, if y'all do vote for him, y'all some stupid motherfuckers. I'm saying that to y'all. And this punk motherfucker don't care. Don't vote for that nigga. Please don't. Look what he do. He just don't give a fuck. Y'all honest, blue-collar, hard-working people and suffering. So if he don't care about y'all, he really don't give a fuck about us. So fuck him, too. Fuck everybody down with Donald Trump. I said it, yeah, Snoop Dogg. Go fuck him. Hell yeah, hero shit. Everybody, every single celebrity need to use their platform for exactly fucking this. It's now or never, celebrity. Step the fuck up. Or say goodbye to America as you know it. Because he definitely never leaving power again once he get it. And uh, that is my show. Hell yeah, we did it, folks. Join me on tonight's after party. We have a bunch of slow news week to cover. Not going to want to miss it. Some real interesting stuff. I got a bunch of cool slow news week. I got all from here to here on the after party. Look at all the shows still to go for these special heroes out there who are patrons of Dust Buddies. So don't miss it. Still plenty of time to sign up on my Patreon if you haven't done so already. Link in the description of this video. Do it to it. But let's read the super chats. How can we prove we're not fascists? I got it. Ban and Frank's diary. I know, right? Are we the baddies? Nah. RB, what up, RB? One of my cats uh, brings in different creatures from our catio almost every day. It's a gift for the family. A bird was just flying around my house, and my husband caught it and freed it. Any of your kitties bring in creatures? No, they don't get out. A bird did fly in here one time. And uh, I basically had to save its life. They were very interested in murdering it immediately. It was in the wrong neighborhood, for sure. But I got it out of here before it died. You're my favorite show, by the Sweetie Word. What up, Sunday the Rose? You chose wisely. You have amazing taste. Hot ass, Sedino, Sedona Rose. Thanks for your bristling expose on the alleged failing democracy. All right, I didn't get very many super chats in that last half. Okay, whatever. It's all good. Not going to complain about it. All right, hey, thanks for everybody who donated tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys rock. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed it. Popped up there. All right, cool. Uh, all right, folks, I'm going to go do the after party with Dusty Smith beginning right now. The rest of you guys, I will see you Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. It's only the day after tomorrow for another hub day episode of the world's greatest program. Uh, please tell your friends about the show. If you're watching somebody else's show that's similar to mine, you know who they are out there. Like, leave comments and uh, tell them that you like this show uh, so that their audience will come watch my show. That would be a great way to spread the show. Uh, hit the like button. Do all the things. Thank you, Big Black Corvette, BBC. Hitting us in the end of the socialism. Everybody give some love to BBC. And whoever got those freebies better show up at the after party tonight. All of you Dusties are invited. The hell yeah love you guys i will see you soon and i promised i would play what did i promise i was going to play all right let's get up you guys want the rest of these treats that's want the rest of these treats there you go have the rest though there you go go nuts well i said i was going to play um what was it i said i was going to play somebody asked me i can look at that having a pork um wasn't wobble wobble it wasn't wobble wobble was it it was else it was uh oh it was wobble wobble okay wobble wobble easy enough wobble 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 by dusty smith here's an original song from me to you wobble wobble good night everybody do -do -do. Do -do -do -do.
Switch over now!